Kylie. Hello. She's one of my favorite people in the world. She teaches, she's one of the instructors at Burn Boot Camp too. So if you want your butt kicked, she's the gal to go to. But um, Kylie, we've been dealing, We you came to us about IBS, right? Um, can you tell us a little bit about your story? Yeah. So about four years ago, I started to get um, IBS symptoms. I'm gonna tuck you in here. Okay. Doctors weren't really sure what it was. They wanted to put me on like antidepressants um, for the serotonin levels in my stomach. They had tried all the FODMAPs, um, all the protocols for what to eat, and nothing really helped. Um, eventually, I just kind of stuck with what they were saying. I had all these allergies. They cut, cut out wheat, dairy, um, soy. Um, peanuts, so those things. I cut those out and it's gotten somewhat better, but I do have flare ups about like every time I'm about to get my period. And so in order to keep those under control, I've been coming in here and it's actually been helping a ton with the inflammation in my gut because it still will just swell up a ton about like once a month. So, so let's go back to the, the symptoms. So you yeah. flare up, you get in the hot get, and then like, what do you experience? Yeah. So I'll flare up and it will be super bloated, super painful. Um, everything I eat hurts so badly and then I'm also just like craving everything. Um, I'll get in here, during it I'll feel like pretty fatigued and like sweaty and I'm like, oh my gosh, why am I doing this? Um, and then <laughs> like almost immediately after when I go out to the front desk and they're like, how was it? I'm like, well, like I'm actually feeling so much better. And then I've noticed that for about like at least five days, I'll feel way better if I'm like perfect with my diet. I won't have any stomach problems. My like bowels will be way more regular, and I just feel way less inflamed, way less like heavy, fatigued, all of that. So, so less pain, less discomfort. How all about gas? It's like gone. all the symptoms. Yeah, it's almost like normal again. It's almost gone. Like the next, so the during the day, that day it's like kind of the same, a little bit better. The next morning when I wake up, it's like. Awesome. Um, one thing I want to stress, I'm going to come back to you. Yes. Um, you guys, so yes, ozone is amazing, but what this girl isn't telling you is that she's on it with her nutrition. And you know how I'm always talking about how nutrition is key? And so she sticks to her nutrition really well. So her body now has the building blocks to utilize the ozone um, to its best ability. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. I definitely would agree, and there's times when I do slip up, but I definitely notice a big difference. Yes. And then when I'm staying like 100% consistent with my diet, I'm eating a bunch of whole foods and not too many, like not cheating with the whole meat and dairy allergies that I have. Um, this totally manages it a lot better. So, so what we're, so what we basically want to say is, hit the nutrition first, yeah. then try the ozone to help with manage the symptoms and just help boost your body to a healing response, right? And not yeah. a like fight or flight like inflamed, yeah. right? Yeah. Now, let's talk about um, a little bit when you came in at first and we spoke about nutrition, right? What were some of the things that you altered? Because um, the, yeah. the first question I asked you was, how many carbs are you eating and yes. how much fat are you eating? Yeah, right? that was really cool. So. Um, I was tracking macros and I had my fats pretty low because um, I was cutting and I was worried about getting lean and I um, didn't have a period for four months and I was like, okay, like I'm not competing for a show, I just need to be healthy. So um, I came in here and Janique was like, how are your fats? And that was I, like the first thing I asked yeah, you, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I didn't even think of that and I was like, oh gosh, like I haven't been eating like any eggs, avocados, anything like that, like really, really low fats. Um, I immediately started, I went home and I had like five eggs that <laughs> night. I put awesome. like avocado on my eggs and I just like threw my macros out the window for a little bit. Um, and then actually like a week later I got my period and I just kept eating fats the entire time and I got another one. So And you and awesome. you felt way better, right? Yeah, I mean it was painful for sure. Like because you couldn't digest all the fat at first, yeah. right? Yeah, that too. I noticed I was getting a little bit bloated just because I wasn't used to that much fat. Um, but I did get some enzymes from her and I've actually been like being able to eat higher fat diet just fine with the enzymes. Awesome. So, yeah. Yay. I'm yeah. so glad. So, um, anything else you want to say? Like, what would you say to an IBS person right now as they're listening to this video? Like, what advice would you want to give them? 
Um, definitely stick with it. It's been, like I said, like five years. And stick it with the nutrition, like, right? Yeah. Like, like be push really through it. Like, don't give up. And yeah, be super, super strict. Because in the very beginning, I was like just having little, like, um, I'd have a little bit of diarrhea or a little bit of gas. And I'd be like, oh, it's worth, like, the ice cream or, like, the bread. But every time it just got worse and worse really slowly, it kind of crept up on me until it was just horrible. So I would say like the second you're having any symptoms like that, cut out those things and see if it helps at all and come see Janine and see what she can do. Oh yeah. And so the things, let's just recap, wheat, dairy, dairy. sugar, yeah, high carb foods, yeah. nuts. Do you yes. eat nuts? I eat, so almonds and cashews, I usually do those too. I can't do peanuts. Peanuts yeah. are terrible anyway, so yeah. <laughs> okay, Kaylee, thank you. Yeah, so you're welcome. Thank you. Goodness.